I'm going to make a, a short video on uh, something called factoring out the lowest uh, power. And it's not too different from uh, regular factoring. It's just uh, what makes it maybe a little bit trickier is the fact that you have uh, negative exponents. But the idea is the same. And um, it's it's a topic that's done in pre-cal and in calculus. And um, in calculus, it's real important because uh, th these types of problems come when we're taking derivatives with product rule or quotient rule or um, t the chain rule. And we're interested in when's derivative equal to zero, or maybe I'm interested in uh, taking the second derivative. And it's kind of difficult when something's uh, of the form like this. So 5x to the fourth plus x to the one-third plus one-third x to the fifth times x plus one to negative two-thirds. Okay? And what's going to happen first is... Um, we don't really want that fraction hanging out, so we're going to go ahead and factor that one third out. And uh, let's see, we have uh, x to the fourth in common, so we're going to factor out an x to the fourth. Um, and then we're going to factor out the lowest power of the x plus ones, and that's the minus two thirds. So we're going to factor out an x plus one to the minus two thirds. Okay. Now what's going to happen here is because I factored a one-third out, in order to get back to a 5, I need a 15. All right. Now, when I factor out an x to the fourth, it's a lot like I subtract a 4 from the exponent. So then it gives me x to the 0 equals 1. So this is just really like 15 times 1. Okay. Then when I factor a negative 2 thirds out here, it's like I subtract it from the exponent here. So I have 1 third minus negative 2 thirds. Well, that's really just 3 over 3, which is just 1. That gives me x plus 1 to the 3 thirds, or just the first power. Okay. Now, for the second piece, I have, uh, we've taken care of the one-third, and I subtracted a four from this exponent, because I factored out x to the fourth, and then we just factored out an x plus one to the negative two-thirds, so that's like subtracting negative two-thirds, okay? And what this piece here is going to end up being now is x plus one to the, um, the zero power, oh, and I don't, I almost forgot, I got it, I got an x to the first power here because of the x to the fifth minus four. And x to the zero is just one. Okay, and that's that's everything that's happening right here when, when we go on to this next step. So let me uh, move all this extra junk out of the way. And we'll continue. Then the last thing to do is we're going to send that 3 down from the 1 third down into the denominator. The x to the 4th is hanging out in front. I have 16x plus 15 all over 3 times x plus 1 to the 2 thirds. Now it's easy to define where this thing is equal to 0, where it's undefined, and it's easier if I want to take the second derivative. 